Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the most important recruiting tip post patch. Now, before we get into the video, as always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 350 likes in this video? And of course, comment down below if you have any other recruiting changes that are really monumental that you notice from this patch. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out Underdog. They are now doing October long promos. The schedule has just been unreal. I've never seen them do anything like this. It's basically been every day since the kickoff of the CFB and NFL season, and it's every single day. So many cool promos. Not only is it fun to play, it's way more advantageous for you as the player to actually play on the app. So make sure you do check it out. My link will be down below in the description. And remember, if you do use my link, you can get up to $1,000 in your first deposit, plus a free pick, which is basically free money within the pick that you do end up choosing, whether it be two, three, four, or five. And if you need any help with the app, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or comment down below. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get into the video. So this recent update changed so much. And I got, I got to be honest with you guys. I've had, a, there's been a few updates in this game and I've kind of been like, ah, whatever. Uh, okay, that was fine. Oh, that was a cool change. Like the, the, the gem changing to the X, right? And a few little graphical things and maybe making it harder for bad teams to recruit or maybe making it harder if for bad teams to win in the sim. There's been a few changes here and there and I've been like, okay, they're cool. This was the first time that it wasn't really spoken about, but it was so clearly different. So in my online league last season, recruiting worked a certain way. Everyone had it down to a science, simple to do, good to go. Like this works, that doesn't work. You knew what to do. This next season we come in, things are entirely different. The recruiting, the recruiting trail and all the tactics completely changed in a weird, in a weird way that I wasn't quite expecting. So certain things that we thought may have been bad actually turned out to be pretty good now, which is something that people weren't expecting. So the people that did still use a tactic such as what I'm going to go through actually ended up benefiting. So I set my board, I'm setting up some recruiting actions. The biggest thing that I noticed that changed and something that is now so dominant and it makes sense because in the past games it was and the amount of points you have to spend, and that's a visit. Visits have been definitely revamped, which makes sense, right? I had thought when the game first came out, visits weren't exactly that worthwhile. While there were situations where they were helpful, like they were like a, a complimentary addition, visits seem to be one of the most important things since they recently updated the game. I don't see anywhere that really states that, but it's clear as day. And I'm gonna go through it, and some of the things that are important here when setting a visit, is honestly like the week you do it right now is especially important and the weirdest thing which i don't really like is that visits actually are very impactful on a week where it shouldn't be so i don't know if i don't know if that was an intentional change but for instance in the first two weeks of this game first two months of this game when you did a visit they were at their best when let's say you played bama or georgia or clemson you got the four green triangles the four green interest boosts. those were the weeks where you would get a huge boost if you won now, if I did it against FCS Southeast, right? So if we go over to visit right here, we have to be in the top five, obviously, to schedule a visit. So right here, if we go to visits, week four is our first game, UCLA at home. Now, here's the thing. If I had scheduled it against FCS Pandas this week or UCLA, you wouldn't get a big, you wouldn't get a big boost for a win. It would be like a complimentary boost. If you did it on a bye week, it's a complimentary boost. Now, if I did it against Alabama, pretty big boost. Oklahoma, decent boost, right? From what I've seen, any game you schedule a visit on, is now a really big boost. It's quite honestly a game-changing recruiting boost. So in my online league, just to give you guys some background. I love giving you guys context from there because that's live tested, right? I was on pace to recruit 13 five stars in my league. Simple as day. Like I was so far ahead. I had all the recruiting packages. Keep in mind, recruiting packages do play a role. If you go into your uh, your coaching packages, there are some types of packages that impact complimentary visits, that impact visits in general. Those will obviously give you even a bigger boost, but not that many people have those. So I'm not really considering those in this situation, but feel free to piggyback off that and add those. But when it comes to these visits, I was on pace for about 13 five stars. And right when we advanced, I had so many five stars on my board that I couldn't really be allocating visits. And it's fine. I can do week four, week five, right? Maybe week six if needed. Right in advance, a few guys that were competing with me, pretty far behind too, all did week three visits. I was completely locked out of week three. Made me a little nervous because I know visits are helpful, so I got a little scared, but I was like, it won't be a big deal. At every advance that we did, at every recruit we did on that advance on week three, all the recruits I had, I lost every single one of them, except for one where it was like this close. And mind you, the margins were this big. And in our league, the schedules got messed up. So week three wasn't like a Bama, a Clemson, a Georgia. There was like no user games the first three weeks. It was all FCS teams like the Pandas or bad teams just like UCLA. None of them were good teams. So visits have been in completely buffed and honestly, maybe too much. Now, what I do like here though, is that when I took a look at the teams that did beat me, for instance, the pro potential 
or the proximity to home was an A plus, let's say. And that team that did a visit clearly picked that because that was their deal breaker and probably the only thing they had almost unlocked at that point. That was their deal breaker. So now it seems like if you do a hard sell pitch and you have some A pluses, it's so much more impactful now. Does that make more sense? Yes, that does make a lot more sense in my opinion from the game's perspective. Like I, it does make more sense for things to be working out in that way. It's like right here, brand exposure. Let's make sure we toss it on so I can show you guys. But it does make more sense that, yeah, if you do a visit that matters to a recruit, I, I, I hate when that happens, when it like glitches out and you can't click anything because you were on there too long. So it does make more sense. If you have A pluses and you're a good program and you do a visit and you have a good visit, it can entirely sway the recruit to come choose your program. I like that. What this does mean for you and for a lot of people is that recruiting is going to be a lot harder for smaller programs. If you're a team that has B's and C's, you're and, and those big teams, if they're getting hit harder with those with those sell grades plus the visit, it's gonna be harder. Now, this does mean that you can steal if you have good grades for the visit you do. It does mean you can completely kill a team. I obviously I was killed by Texas, so at least it wasn't like I was killed by a three or two star program. But it's just, it does make visits a little bit harder for bad teams, I think. But it does make them really good if you have the right grades. So visits are super OP. I'm gonna sim through here and show you guys some of these visits as I can apply them. But the key thing with visits is you want to be that early week. I, I've come to the realization that I don't think visits matter on the week they're going to commit if you're behind. So let's say you're like this far behind, right? Maybe like right around here and you have a visit that week five and they're going to commit. I feel like whoever has the lead pre-commitment almost always wins it. So I don't like I don't really like visits beyond week five unless the recruits going really slow. I think week three and week four visits are the are the money weeks. Now, here's the problem for some of those five stars that recruit a little bit earlier week three is kind of the money week so you got to kind of be praying you have a week three home game and you can get there so first thing if you're in online league be ready at advance to apply your visits getting locked out of week three was a killer for me if you're on an offline league obviously it doesn't matter but you probably don't even need to be heavily visiting like that in an offline league with a great program but week three is really the money week right now for two reasons if you visit on week three with how good it is right now with a good grade you're going to end up getting such a large boost that week four might be your commitment week. And like I said, once you're in the lead, I think it's over where this doesn't, where week four comes into play is if when you do the visit, you just gotten to like that top five and you're in week three and you're still in that top five, top three range. And then when you get into week four, your visit can still be used and they're going to commit in week five. So week four visits are only good if you project them to commit in week five for two reasons. A, they might early commit to you on that week four from a great visit. B, you may have a package that says, bonus visit points for every visit they've taken before you and honestly see is that you might take that lead and then in week five they can't over jump you because like i said i think once you have that lead going to commit week it's kind of over but week three can be so dangerous like i said if that other guy i almost lost all of them based on week three visits so it's very important to have week three visits if you're in your own league and you're creating your own schedules that's fine sometimes you're locked out of week three but let's advance and let's show you guys this week four advance now here's the thing though obviously some recruit earlier so you're going to see this how this kind of works even though this guy's a visit scheduled, I'm hoping we can get to week four, but it's very, very, I feel like recruiting has almost been sped up a little bit. And of course in online leagues too, this is what I'm saying is like a lot of people are like, oh, I do recruit, I do visits in week six and seven. In online leagues, after a few seasons where everyone's building their coach, where everyone's using recruiting packages and coaching packages, you get to a point where quite honestly, a majority of the five stars are committed by week three and four. And that's kind of where it becomes a point where it's like, visits weren't as impactful before because you only had like one week to apply them and but since they're really good now and you only have one week to apply them whoever applies those week three visits have a great chance i saw so many recruiting battles lost strictly because people got in crazy crazy visits like on that week three they got crazy visit boosts where you can't even do anything because then it's over by week four if it was up until week six or seven recruiting that visit wouldn't matter as much because i had 80 points for recruiting hours because my coordinators i could have caught back up but because it was over by week four, anyone who got a week three visit basically killed you. So I'm going to try to apply visits for all of these right now and just see if we can see what these jumps are like. But a good visit seems to be crazy. Now, what I did, I didn't play as much of the original game as I would have liked to. Uh, it was a long time ago. I was a lot younger. A lot of people who played that game basically said this had the same sentiment. Like visits used to be so good. Like that was always a thing like, oh man, visits were the best. A good visit basically was the difference between winning a recruit and losing a recruit you could get a visit entirely you can get a whole recruit entirely off a visit so those were like kind of where i was like huh where coming into this game everyone who used to play the game back then basically had the same sentiment like 
Oh man, wait till you see visits, wait till you see visits. Then we got into this game and it was like, oh, okay, visits actually, they're, they're okay. Uh, I guess they're, they're kind of a waste of points. Now people are gonna ask me, right? How do you decide when to do a visit? How do you decide if it's worth doing a visit with your points, right? Cause that's the other thing I get told like, hey, but you know, I have, I have, if I take, if I do a visit, I have to take points off someone. Honestly, what I like to do when I start my league or when I start a season is I assess the absolute like 15 guys I want. Of course, if you have a smaller program, maybe it's 10, if you have a bigger, it's 16, right? 15. I assess the first set of guys that I absolutely want. It's like 15 guys. Then we advance. Then we're not in visit week, right? So I keep going. At that advance, I start to assess where I'm at. Okay, so there's eight guys I'm surely gonna win. There's three guys on the border, but they're worth going for because I think I can win them. There's three guys where it's unlikely, but I have the points, I'll stay on them. Then we advance again to week two, at which point we have some top five coming in, visits can start being applied. I reassess. Okay, those eight guys that I thought I was gonna win, still gonna win them, cool, I'm staying with them. Those three guys on the border, two I'm gonna probably win now, I'm gonna stay with them, but that third guy's kind of falling behind. And those three guys I wasn't sure about, I'm surely out of the race. This is where people are like, but I'm, I'm still recruiting 15. Just drop those, you gotta start cutting waste. So what I do is every recruit's kind of like one visit, and it could even be two or three, four visits, right? Total on three players, if let's say you were putting 80 points on the player or 75 points, if you were to drop three players, you may be able to do about four to five visits. So what I like to do is at which point about week two, when visits open up and top five opens up, or even week one, depending, I start to cut waste on some players and I'll actually cut those bottom three off, accrue back my 200, 210, depending on how many points you have, could be 150, could be less. I get those points back and then I'll go apply visits. Why? Because it's better to win eight to 10, five and four stars that are really good then kind of even the net across the whole board and end up losing a bunch of guys because you didn't apply those visits. And usually, usually for the, and this is where it becomes a big thing is those top eight guys where I said, I'm probably gonna win them because how, how, how I, what I just saw with those week three visits and what I just saw with how impactful visits can be now, I can't take the chance of, oh, I'm gonna win. I have 80 points or 70 points on the player and I'm this much ahead, I'm clearly winning. No, a visit could kill you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop those back end guys and I'm gonna go on my best four or five five star guys that I absolutely cannot lose. Those are my those are the guys I need on my team and I'm winning. And I'll go apply the week three visit or week four visit on them right away. And make sure that I lock up my visit. A lock people out of screwing me. B confirm confirm the kill. Right, that's how I see it. I in my league was not on time and I should have been because I was not expecting to be killed like that. And for doing so, I got jumped. So you're better off just wasting the points and locking people out. Because instead, you don't get those guys in the back end that you probably would have lost anyways, maybe one of them, but instead you lost all your five stars that you were banking on, right? So let's, let's, I'm gonna apply these hard cells and we're gonna keep moving on so I can show you guys the boost. So we're at UCLA week. Obviously, like I always say, we're offline, so we're beating hell out of these CPUs, but you'll see the difference. We're in week three right here. I'm gonna apply this visit. So I can't apply it for that, so I'll apply it for week five here, and hopefully we can get some jump out of this. But what I'm more concerned about are these first three right here. So we have McCaffrey on a week four visit. Look at this right now. TCU is still in the, in the game. And this is where I want to talk about how impactful they are. So look at TCU. They're outgaining me per week. I'm only gaining that size bar and they're gaining a much bigger bar. What that tells me is if we advance one more time, they're probably going to be close to tying me. And if we advance again, they're going to jump me. So this is a situation where I probably lose this recruit in about two advances. This guy, we clearly killed them. This one's over. The visit's not going to matter as much. This one right here, Florida's outgaining me as well. If we go about three advances i think they'll time me which i think will recruit be i think they'll this guy will uh, commit before three advances so i'm not overly concerned on this one but if you see right here we'll try to hard sell them and then we're going to advance and we'll see what this does so just keep in mind the bar you see right here okay so now let's go look at the player so the guy that was going to commit we caught but look at these other ones mcqueen we shot all the way up right there as you guys can see we shot all the way up to commit look at that jump just process where we were we were before the week three spot before the week three spot, we should have just gotten into the commit line, but all the way in the beginning, slightly in front of Alabama. So what's crazy about this, you might be saying, okay, that, that was pretty good, but it wasn't game breaking. Look at who we played. We did a visit against UCLA as LSU. You should not be getting a bonus like that for a team like that. What that tells me is what if I did it against Bama? What if you're playing against CPU Bama? You know you're gonna win. What if the guy in your league that's Bama just sucks and you know you're gonna win? You can literally win an instant recruit five-star by having a week three visit against a Bama or a Georgia and you win. McCaffrey, look at this as well. TCU would have won, would have won this commit. I told you guys before, if you looked at the bar, they would have won this commit if it wasn't for a week four visit against, uh, against UCLA, which is one green bar. What that also tells me is bye weeks, super good now. I, I used to like bye weeks as like a free extra mini boost. 
If it was a close battle, do a bye week. If you're slightly behind, do a bye week. It was fine. Now a bye week may be more beneficial because look at this. If you get a week three visit on a bye week, let's say, you can't lose, you can't win. You're going to get a pretty big boost, clearly. If you did it against Bama and you lose, you could lose that recruit. So again, it, it all comes down to what your league's like, CPU, if they're really good users, bad users. But bye weeks now are super impactful. There, there's no risk and they're clearly still really useful. And this guy right here, we have a week five visit. I'm interested to see another advance here to see how this works out. But as you see, we're clearing recruits on a UCLA visit. That's one green triangle. If we were to get one more green triangle, like a two-star, uh, no, a slightly bigger program, or we were to get three or four, imagine like five, like that's insane. McQueen committed. And then we have our other guy, which I want to see, which was the guy who had the week five visit against, I think it was South Alabama. That's another one that we should be getting absolutely no bonus for. And right here, are we in week five? So unfortunately we lost it. So here's the other thing. If you lose it, obviously you're getting nothing. So this is what I think they really changed a lot. Before the, before the patch, before the update, I saw people who would lose visits and still get some accrual, even against a bad team. And that's where it shouldn't be happening. If you lose to Alabama or Georgia on a visit pre-patch, you'd still get a decent bonus. And I was kind of like, I guess it's still a visit. They're still on campus, but you kind of are supposed to win. You weren't really getting hit with the negative. And they said this in the other patch where they said, hard selling, a bad hard sell hurts you a lot now. And a good help with hard sell helps you more versus when it used to be where it didn't really hurt you that much to have a bad hard sell or, or to incorrectly guess. So I think that may have been the logic across the game. People doing visits like that, that influence bonus, right? On a hard sell and the influence bonus on a visit. I think they made it more extreme now to where any kind of visit that you win is better now. Any kind of visit that you lose, as you see, it, it literally did nothing. And I, honestly, I'd argue we actually hurt our overall week. We just were able to, we sat in the house still. I feel like the whole week kind of got hurt by that. So keep in mind, risk reward is greater, but perfectly timed visits, good time visits, even okay time visits are going to be game breaking and game changing post patch. And it's funny because I just made a video going over our, our visits worth it, right? A lot of people have made videos, our visits worth it. And the consensus kind of was that they weren't. Now they are. This is insane, guys. Make sure you're doing visits now. I think it's worth losing a few four stars to make sure you secure your five stars or losing a few three stars to make sure you convert your four stars. Quite honestly, for all you guys recruiting in the 20 to 30 range, that's too many recruits anyways. You should not be bringing in 20 to 35 every single season. I like to start my first class off like 2025. 20, and then after that, in the requisite years, I try to cut down to about eight to 15 every year. That's where I like to sit around the range. I usually close more closer to 12 to 14 anyways. But with that being said, that's perfect. You're better off bringing in five to 12 really great players than 20 average players you know up to your program up to your about what you prefer but visits are so important now this like you should not be getting bonuses like this for a fcs team or ucla or south alabama right if, if i had gotten this visit if i won this and i forced the win you would have seen this probably be an insta commit or at least this close to commit it, it's unreal it's unreal guys take advantage of visits they single-handedly are changing the game now prior to this visits were complimentary now a good a good visit a, a week three week four good visit can override going against someone with 80 points 75 points 70 points override a guy with elite recruiter it literally will take it over because you're not recruiting isn't lasting as long as i wish it, i wish it would recruiting is over a lot of times by week three and five so a week three visit is like one of the first weeks you can usually get a visit in pretty much one team gets a good visit in I wish you could get visits into week nine. You could get visits into week 10 on top tier recruits. And the, the fact of the matter is you can't. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you've noticed anything else post patch with recruiting, please let me know down below. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 350 likes on the video? Subscribe, turn on that noti bell. And guys, make sure to check out Underdog. Big month in October. Make sure to use my code if you want the bonuses. You do not want to sign up without the bonuses. So make sure you do do that. If you need any help, let me know. I'm out. Peace.